In a recent interview with Tom Bilyeu, Dr. Peter Atia said this. So that's what the VO2 max test is. It is measuring your maximum consumption of oxygen. The higher that level, the longer you're going to live. There is no number, there is no biomarker, there's no finding in all of biology that is more predictive of a person's length of life than that specific mm -hmm. number. So the higher your VO2 max number is, the longer you're going to live. So let's talk about some eye-opening statistics regarding cardiovascular health and fitness as measured by VO2 max. This information comes from a study in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association. If we look at a VO2 max chart and go from low to below average, just from low to below average, there is a 50% reduction in all-cause mortality over a 10-year time frame. Now, all-cause mortality means death from any cause. We'll use myself as an example. I'm 52. If my VO2 max is less than 29 and I'm able to bring it up to between 29 and 35, that's just below average. I've just reduced my chance of dying by any cause over the next 10 years by 50%. Wow, it gets better. If you go from low to above average, there's a 60 to 70% reduction in all-cause mortality. So in my case, if my VO2 max score is below 29 and I get motivated, I start exercising regularly and I work hard and I'm able to increase my VO2 max to between 36 and 40, I've just reduced my chance of dying from any cause over the next 10 years by 60 to 70%. Amazing. It's just amazing. If you thought that was good, what if you really get motivated and you work hard, you really go after it, and you can bring your VO2 max score from low to the elite level? In my case, that would be going from a score of less than 29 to a VO2 max score of 50 or greater. I'm only at 48 right now, so I have a little bit of work to do. In this case, you have reduced your chance of dying from any cause by 400%. Unbelievable. Now, this isn't me just making this stuff up. These are scientists doing research and testing over 122,000 people. I'll link the study below as well as an article on Dr. Atia's website where he breaks down the study in very easy and straightforward, a very easy and straightforward way. It's easy to understand. Now, I know I talk a lot about supplements on this channel. It's a very interesting topic for me. Now, that said, as much as companies that sell supplements may want us to believe, as much as we may want to believe, you cannot achieve that kind of change with a pill. Supplements can help, but they just can't take the place of putting in good old-fashioned effort to get up and move. So if you, if I, if we are serious about health span, lifespan, longevity in general, we can't ignore this. We won't ignore this. Recently, I spoke to Alan Graves, the CEO of Do Not Age, and he said this. Now, remember, this is a guy who is leading a health research organization that sells supplements specifically for longevity. Here's what he said. Somebody asked me actually a couple of weeks ago, what is, if you could give one piece of advice to get everybody more healthy, what would you, what would you say? And I just said three words, move your body because Obviously, most of the people that use Do Not Age are probably already exercising, uh, but the vast majority of the world isn't. And I think that's where we get a lot of the health issues that we see because it's such a basic thing. You know, humans were made to move. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, uh, this is all fine and good, Jared, but how do I increase my VO2 max? Well, I got your back. <laughs> I made a video about that recently, and you can find that right over here.